8. And welcome back on News 8 at Sunrise. Radio personality Steve Hausman is joining us this morning. Uh, Steve disclosing this week that he has COVID-19. Steve, good morning. Thanks for taking a few minutes with us. Yeah, I'm, 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 first of all, I'm doing fine. This is day uh, eight, day six of my confinement. I found out on Easter Sunday that I tested positive. And it was after uh, uh, a week leading up to Easter where I had a little bit of a cough. I had a uh, uh, temperature, but on Saturday it spiked, and that's what prompted me to call my doctor. And uh, he performed the, had the test done, and urgent. And then on Sunday, Easter Sunday, I got the word. What was your reaction when you found out you you had COVID nineteen? Well, you know, you don't know what to think right away, and that's where I have to uh, say that uh, in my case, Rochester Regional Health and the County Health Department really stepped up big time because that Sunday, Easter Sunday, you know, you you wonder. A zillion things, you know. One, am I going to survive? Uh, I found out that I didn't have pneumonia. They did a chest X-ray, which was great. I also found out that uh, I didn't have the key symptom, which is shortness of breath. Which mm -hmm. those who have COVID are told, if you have shortness of breath, you got to get yourself to the emergency room immediately. So, uh, my point here is that I never felt alone. Uh, Re Rochester Regional Health has been in touch with me every day. The county health department has been in touch with me every day to find out how I'm doing, what my is, do I have any new symptoms? And and I went public uh, on WBEE because I wanted to put a face to this whole mess. You know, I mean, we, we really, none of us really knew anybody who had COVID. And I thought that since I have been uh, uh, diagnosed with it, that I may as well go public so people can see that I'm, you know, I'm really fine. And most people are fine, and most people do survive. And I think that's an important part of this here, Mark. A couple things, Steve. How are you feeling now? And your wife, Julie, is with you in the house as well. Yeah. How is she doing? Well, I still have the cough. And if I do cough, I apologize here. But my temperature has been down now. This is my uh, fourth straight day with no fever. And off the Tylenol. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm off the Tylenol now, which uh, if I can stay off Tylenol and fever-free for 72 hours, that's a great sign, they say, right there. Mm -hmm. uh, Julie has been with me. My wife, Julie, has been with me through the whole thing. She had a fever one day. It dissipated. Uh, her big problem is she can't smell anything. And that's been uh, three or four days now. But that's the, only, that's the only symptom that she's suffering. Just a few seconds left. What is your message for people watching right now? Uh, look at me. I'm fine. Most people do pull out of this. What do they say? Uh, Four out of five people will pull out of their COVID diagnosis and, and live a regular normal life. Uh, you know, I, I was so concerned that people think that COVID-19 is a death sentence. It is not. I mean, if you play by the rules, if you do everything they say, if you stay quarantined for the 14 days, which I am, <clears throat> and just again, play by the rules, you will pull through this and you will be as good as ever. I, I, I know it. I feel it. And it's, it's what I'm pushing toward. Well, Steve, we appreciate your time this morning, and we add our voices to the chorus out there who say, get better, feel better soon. Thanks, Mark.